Hello everyone and welcome. It's Shanna. So glad you're here. Now today I'm going to be working with this January 2024 color palette that Kendra's Card Challenge put out and it is got a beige, a rose tan, a terracotta, a raspberry, and an apricot. And I have just taken my Distress Oxide and Distress Inks and just did a whole bunch of blending and come up with what I think is a pretty good match. So I'm going to be working with these um, pieces of paper here that I've ink blended on. Now I've just used Hammer Mill 100% 100 pound cardstock and just did my blending on it. I'm going to be bringing in this nested die set that I got in my Spellbinders Crafty Advent Calendar and I'm going to use all but two of them um, <clears throat> and then just die cut all of these out. So I've got all these little fr nested frames die cut out in the collars and I'm just going to lay them again so you can kind of see. I think it's pr pretty close. I mean it's a pretty, some of them are closer than others but um, I'm real pleased with that. And some of them I couldn't even tell you how I came up with the collar. That one that I just lifted up, I was less satisfied with that one than the rest of them just because it was kind of, um, didn't blend well, but it was because the uh, picked raspberry ink pad that I was using was not juicy and I really had to work hard to get enough ink out to to get me the color for that. So I'm just going to stack these nested dies and I'm just stacking them in the order that they're shown on the challenge color palette. Just to kind of keep with the way that it was laid out, I thought I would just lay them out that way. And so I'm just going to get them all stacked up. And I this color here I think really was a really close match. The first one, the third one, um, I guess the fourth one and the fifth one were good matches too. I, I think it was just, I don't know, that second one, I, I and I think it was a good match. I think it was just because it didn't blend well. Um, but you can see the different colors. I mean, I I brought in about, in, in a minute I'll bring in the all the different ink pads that I used and I mean, I just blended and blended and blended until I got something that I thought was close enough that I was happy with. And then I'll lay this final one down here. And this is going to be like the uh, main focal point of our card. These nested dies will be. And I'm just putting that what's called beige um, on the color palette. I'm putting it on top and just kind of cleaning up my workspace. Now these are um, all of them that I used, um, Spun Sugar, Kitsch Flamingo, Tattered Rose, um, just all of these um, I brought in and blended. Um, I even I brought in the Picked Raspberry, the Aged Mahogany, the um, just all of these. And I used browns and I used the grays and I used, I, I used the uh, Mahogany and everything just to get those real deep colors. Um, I think I even used Candied Apple Red. I didn't drag that one in, but I used that one as well. I think I used it along with a picked raspberry to get that um, bright color. Then I used the stylized trellis embossing folder and I just took a white panel and um, I used the same colors that I used on that top top one there. I'll, I'll list all the colors in the description box below. Right now that is escaping me. Pumas, it's the Pumas one, um, is what I used on that top layer and on this embossing folder. I just thought the stark white was a little bit too much for um, the embossed panel on top of the white cardstock and then so I just wanted to bring some of that color in and you can see I was a little heavy-handed in the upper left hand or upper right hand corner there and I'll lay some sequins there in a little bit to try and cover it up. Now I'm just using these magnets just to kind of push my glue down and I did have enough left over on one of those ink blended panels that I cut my love out and I did cut some little tiny hearts out from the different colors as well so that I could bring them in. And that love die cut, I stacked it. I think it's four deep, so it's a good solid um, die cut piece there. I've got it good and solid. And I'm just bringing in all of my elements, giving my card just a minute to dry. And I'm going to pull my magnets off and get my card assembled. This was a really 
um, quick card. Um, I just, I had a card that I had made with this um, nested die set um, when I got it that I really liked and it kind of stuck out in my head and I thought, well, I'm just going to bring it in for this um, because there were so many different colors that I could use. And I'm just going to get it laid down on my panel. Try to get it centered. It was kind of hard to center it just because I didn't center that embossing folder on there and so it kind of looked like I needed to line it up with a little heart but it wasn't exactly in the center so it kind of threw me off a little bit. I'm just kind of dusting it off because uh, I mean I blended I just really did a lot of blending on there. Um, now I'm just going to grab I think I'm just going to grab my glue and my pick tool and just try and decide where I'm going to lay these little hearts, how I want them to be positioned on my little nested die set. And I'm, I'm going to use all four of them and just kind of fill in that space. And then I've got my little love sentiment that I think I'm just going to position at the bottom and I think I actually decide to kind of tilt it. That's a very, very simple card. I had fun making it. It was fun really playing along with those all of those inks and trying to mix and match and come up with the colors that I thought would work for this color palette. So I think you can enter um, one card per month for this particular challenge and you don't have to use a KCC sketch. It's not required. And I guess these colors were from Sarah Renee Clark from her color palettes and Kendra got permission to use those and so we've got this extra little challenge. So I'm just getting this glued up and I'm going to get it laid down and that'll pretty much take care of my card. I actually made a card earlier with this color palette and I wasn't satisfied with it. I was thinking about laying that love over the top, and then I thought, no, I don't want to do that because I have my hearts on there. So I'm just going to bring in my magnets and lay it down. Anyway, I tried one other card, and it was kind of a rustic, kind of a Tim Holtz distressed looking card, and I made a video of it, but I didn't like it. So I'm holding it up and looking at it, and I think I need to put some embellishment on there. And I, that corner, that upper right-hand corner was kind of really bothering me. So I'm just kind of looking at it and trying to decide. I'm, and then I decide I had a couple of embellishments that came in that crafty advent calendar as well that I thought might be okay. And I was kind of lining that up and that up. And I thought, well, those will work all right. It just depends on the angle on that kind of peachy colored one as to when you angle it a certain way, it does look like that color. It just really depends on how you angle both of them as far as the colors go. But I decided to go ahead and add them to my um, card and try and cover up that little dark spot in that upper corner. And I'm struggling to get the package opened. So I'm just going to pour some of those out and some of the other ones and we'll just use them all together and just get them laid down on my card base. So let's see, what can we talk about? Um, so yesterday we had to get a new heating unit put in our house. So I had to go watch my grandsons at their house because our heat was going to be off for a period of time while they installed the new unit. So we did that yesterday. And I'm glad to say they got it in quickly and it's working well. And so today I was back at home with the grandkids, which I was glad. I, I enjoy being home. And um, we had a another two hour delay for school so my granddaughter was here for a good while this morning as well and she she enjoyed having that little delay so we basically stayed in all day didn't get out just because the weather is just still I mean it's in the low single digits still um, and I think we might not be negative anymore with the windshield but so that's that. My husband tells me that we're supposed to get some snow over the weekend. So we'll see how that goes. But otherwise, I'm just enjoying staying inside, being warm with our new 
unit and um, crafting. So I hope you're all staying warm and have some fun times crafting. I've been enjoying it. My husband made chili last night, so we had chili, and that was really yummy. And we had a big old pot of it, so we're going to have some again tonight. We're going to make some grilled cheese to go with it. Last night I had just a little peanut butter sandwich, but tonight we're going to have some grilled cheese. Um, my husband's kind of famous for his chili. Our kids love it. He's won some cook-offs with it, and it's really yummy. So I'm looking forward to that tonight. And Let's see, it's Wednesday night. I don't know what else we've got going on, but okay, so I've got my sequins laid on here, and I'm contemplating putting some more, and I think I decide that I'm going to go ahead and put a couple more in that upper corner, just so I kind of have that little triangle, and so I'm just going to add a couple of more, and then we'll have seven sequins laying on our card, and that'll finish off our card. I think it came pretty close to the color palette. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye now.